Hello everyone. Today I'm making catfish curry with okros and edos. Please stay tuned. Don't move the mouse and you'll see how it's done. Then you can give it a try and let me know if you've enjoyed it and how tasty it is. Stay tuned. Keep watching. You'll see how it's done. I'll be cooking catfish today. I've already cut it up in pieces. Nice small pieces. And I'll be making a nice curry. So I've cleaned it and seasoned it with some salt, pepper, and my ground up seasoning that you can see from one of my previous videos where I put onion, garlic, and hot peppers and just blend it all together. Now I will just fry it lightly. Now I have the oil, nice and hot. I will just add the fish that I've lightly floured. I used whole wheat flour. Now I will just put it in and I will lightly fry both sides until it's lightly brown and then remove from the pan. This just gives it, it, it tends to lock the flavor of the fish before you put it in the curry. So that's the reason for frying. So there, I'll fry it until it's brown on both sides, just lightly brown. So there I have the fish, it's ready to take out, and then I will just add the other batch. So I take this out, just wet it in a dish. And then I continue with the other part. There is my fish. It's uh, slightly brown on both sides. So I have it in the dish with the other batch frying in the pan. Now I will prepare the curry. Now I will peel two edos. I will be adding edos to it, so I have two edos that I will peel and cut in pieces to add to the curry. I will just peel the edos. Then I will cut in pieces and wash after. I just cut it in four pieces and I will wash it after. Now I clean the second one. I will also be adding some okros. So I bought the okro. Now I will just add maybe about three or four when it's almost finished. Okay, here I have the okra. I've washed it. Now all I do is I cut the head off. Okay, now we will cook the curry. I have the paste already here. The paste is made up of ground up seasoning, mixed masala, curry powder, and some dye. Now we put it in the pan to fry a bit. And we just turn it up to fry to bring out the flavor in the masala. So we fry it up for about a minute and a half. Okay, you can see the curry paste is like getting a darker color. You know that it's nicely fried. Now you just add the pieces of edos. And you fry that up a bit for about a minute just so that it lightly starts to cook. So you add it in and keep stirring for about a minute. 
where it is frying nicely. The kettle is frying in the paste. Now you just add the fish. And you stir it up a bit to combine it. Remember the fish is already half cooked. So you just cooking it a bit now to add in the flavor of the curry paste. It's nicely frying. Now you just add a little tip of water. So we add a tip of water. Just put it around the pot. So that it gets to the bottom. You hear the nice sizzle. That tells you that it was nice and hot. So you add some water just around. Just so that it wouldn't catch at the bottom of the pan to burn. And once again you stir it up. And then you cover. Okay. You cover the pot and you leave it on low for about five minutes. Okay, I almost forgot to mention that you have to add salt to taste. So open back the pot and just add some salt to taste. Okay, you stir it up a bit to mix in the salt. The salt. We don't want our food to not have taste. The salt is necessary. So now we stir in the salt. Then we cover it and leave it again here for the desired time. Now I can tell it's almost done. We open and we add the okra. So we just add the okra inside because now the okra has to lightly steam for about a minute. So we just add the okra inside nicely there. Just make sure it's covered with the liquid. And then we will cook it for another couple of minutes. Let's just get a closer look at the pot. Here we have the pot bubbling nicely with the okos on top. Nice young fish curry. You could tell by the look that this would be really tasty. Now I think it's all finished. Here you go, I open. Take a look at it. To make sure the ghetto is all boiled and everything's good. And there you can see that everything's all good. Now I just garnish with some green onions. And it's all ready to go. You can all have nice young fish curry. It can be eaten with rice or any kind of roti. There we have it. It's all done. I've turned it off. We have our nice curried fish. So there now you have a different way of cooking catfish. So it's catfish curry with some okras and edos. Thank you all for watching and hope you'll visit my other videos. Cheers!